Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis episode 12 with our series here. You can see we've got a population of almost 1.5 million people. Uh, we've got 508 million credits and it's kind of going up just very slowly. And we're at 6067 so we've got a culture point to spend here. We'll go ahead and spend it. This should put us pretty close actually. I think we're only one culture point away from victory, or beating the game, and we are. So we've got to try to get that last culture point, which is going to be really tricky to do. But we're going to go ahead and, okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the biosphere because we can make a few more animals. And we can make two aquatic, add two terrestrial. So I think we'll go ahead and we'll make a carnivore to help balance out the herbivore. And we'll do a, another mammal, a gene. And we're going to do a um, low metabolism. Um, delicate. What's pair bonding? I like pair bonding, actually. So that gives them a really large projected health so let's try that again so we'll make a low metabolism go down to projected health so I can watch that 323 percent so let's make um uh, delicate 311 Okay, let's do that. We'll confirm the organism. Obviously, we need to cut back their projected health by a lot. The Opex Toaster is what it looks like it said. All right, we're going to look and make sure that that's a well-balanced species. So they're going to be overpopulated 170%. These guys are going to drop down to 74%. And we can take this here and we can actually kind of balance that. So we aren't doing any conservation now. We'd actually have to increase health. For these guys, we'd have to cut this back, or braise this actually by a lot. So they're going to go to 82. They'll be at a healthy 115%. All right, very good. We can actually cut this back a little bit. It's at 121%. It doesn't need to be that high. And then, yeah. Okay, so that gives us one of each there. We'll go ahead and create an LG for over here. And we'll go with seaweed, I guess, because it's got good tolerance. We're going to go with delicate. Uh, ca I like cash crop. What's that put it for? Really high projected health. And cut that down a little bit. Three hundred and seventeen. Obviously, these are really hard to balance when you've got to keep altering that. It costs a lot of money to balance these. Even still, says it's going to be overpopulated by a lot. Uh, 10,000 a month is a whole hot too. Oh, I put it right to endangered. Holy crap. So what we'll have to do is go to probably 30% and then find a, a fish that would eat that. Or an uh, herbivore. So 12%. Okay, so it's... Not as bad as I thought. It's kind of tapering off here. These guys are actually says it's going to go to the in, to endangered, which is crazy. Threatened. Okay. The, yeah, these guys are dropping to endangered. So 
We'll actually do no conservation for that. Yeah, we'll just let this one be its thing real quick. Let me see what that does. You got to kind of play with these, you know, got to find the perfect area. I did talk a little bit about this last time. So they're going to threatened and 90% for them. So that's a lot better. We can go ahead and up this now. That should take them at least out of threatened. 72 healthy, healthy. If we create an herbivore, that's going to change it a lot. So these guys can probably be zero. Because we'll have an herbivore. Oh, that's not what I want. Hundred and sixteen seventy-two. So we'll create an herbivore. This will upset it again. We'll do a fish. Plus fifty percent, plus one population a minute. We're gonna do the usuals, delicate. Um Exothermic, we definitely don't want. Uh, social behavior. And scavenger. That's going to give it high health, 307. Confirm organism. And then we'll balance that again. So we're going to put these in the threatened range and put these in overpopulated. So if we actually just mess with this and do some conservation, that should balance everything by a lot. I kind of wish it just showed the difference. I'd have to keep clicking off. Wow, it went right to threatened, huh? All right, we'll put these up a little bit. We'll go plus 15, 16 is fine, whatever. And then I'm going to have to mess with food here in a second. 60. Plus 20. Healthy 71%. It's fine. It's expensive to take care of all these. We're probably going negative in money now. 96, that's still going to threatened. I could probably increase this to change that a little bit. A little bit. Needs to go up a little bit more. Oh, spiking temperatures in Mars. Not good. Close that. Have to look at that. Okay, that's healthy. So that's a pretty well-balanced ecosystem. Um, spiking temperatures. What do we got here? Plus 60 a minute. Hmm. Solar activity. It's going to put us a little bit over, but hopefully not too much. Oxygen's still going up because we haven't done anything that consumes oxygen. And water's going up because of global warming because of the raising temperatures. Um, I don't have anything that can deal with that. What is it going to increase mining revenue? I don't think I have anything that takes heat away. Sequestration, eco simulator. What's that? Oh, yeah, that can be uh, disabled now. We don't need that and demolished actually. Sequestration plants, pressure, disable that. Yeah, I don't have anything for heat. Wow, holy crap, we're getting hit with all sorts of bad stuff right now. Yeah, I don't have anything for heat, so we'd have to build one. Well, we can go ahead and do that. We can actually do that here. Um, right here. Temperature, and we'll go for the cooling plant. It'll take 28 minutes to build. We'll probably need it. And then we spent our culture point. We need to get one more culture point. We can get it by a random event, or we got to get it by getting our population up. I believe the 2.5 million. We've maxed out all of our satellites, and I'll double check that, but I'm almost positive we maxed out all our satellites so we can't build anything else on these and these can't be upgraded anymore 
Yeah, they're as upgraded as they can get. So this is where it turns into uh, sort of difficult because to get that extra culture point, we've got to have, wait for a random event or get 2.5 million population, which means we would need a lot of HAB colonies. Um, let's go ahead then and found a new colony because that's probably where we're going to end up doing it. Go to elevation. We could probably just put one right here, five kilometers, Wetney Crater. We're going to go to that colony and we're going to start working on building ha um, the Hab Domes. But we'll want to make sure we offset the oxygen and the water levels first. So minus 10 oxygen and for water. So we'll want to go into water, build the geo cistern. And we'll want to go into oxygen and get ourselves the O2 filter. Now, both of these are going to have to build. Obviously, over time, as they're constructed, they'll be leaching away at our oxygen, which is okay, I think, because we got plus one oxygen and our water levels, which water levels have to go down anyways, especially with what's going on here. So this will be okay. They'll kind of cancel each other out as we work on the HAB complex. Now, how, how long does it take to build? Because this is going to be the big thing. How long does it take to build the HAB dome? It's one hour and 53 minutes. So we'll go ahead and build that right now because both of those will be constructed. The next facility is not going to be until POP 250, which will be after this is built. So both of those will construct and this will build. And that'll be that. The planet's looking pretty good. I kind of wish it was a little greener. I'd have to do some more plants, probably. Uh, once we get the carnivores up there, it'll be pretty cool. We actually do have one more available, so we could do a plant. I wonder if we could do a plant that'll... Let's do a, sh let's do a tree. Plus two oxygen per minute. Um, uh, if it's low, let's see, high, low oxygen adapted. Can we make it plus one oxygen, minus 30% high oxygen tolerance, low water tolerance. We'll do cash crop, beautiful. Fruit bearing. It's got a low projected health. We can bump that up with a little bit of a conservation bonus. See what that gets us. Might get us some trees popping up here on the surface of the planet, make it look a little bit nicer. She threatened. These guys are going to be endangered too. So we'll put them at zero. That might actually help out with everything. Huh, it didn't make much of a difference. Thirty-seven percent seventy-three, but now these guys are gonna be overpopulated. It's so funny how you've gotta like really play with this. Because if these guys get overpopulated, then they get overpopulated. It's like a super balancing act. Ah, ramp it. These ones are better, though. We're getting there. We're almost there. Healthy, healthy, healthy. Ramp it, healthy. A little bit more for these guys. We should start seeing a little bit more of a green planet now. All right, perfect. So everything's in a really healthy balance, actually. Same with over here. All right, so that makes me feel a, a lot better. Now we'll go ahead and let the hab build, and then we'll check in on all of this later on. By then, I'll go ahead and build some habs off camera, and I'll do all of this, 
and we'll see if we get our one culture point. So I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.